You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angela Whitmire. This plant portrait is for showy orchis, Galliaris spectabilis. Showy orchis, a beautiful small spring flowering plant, can be found in moist woods in the central and eastern regions of North America. Multiple plants may grow near each other, sometimes in a nice straight line. Each showy orchis has two leaves. This perennial plant likes to cluster with its buddies. The plants could be different ages in total number of years. Within two weeks, the plants rapidly increase in size as the leaves grow upward. Let's follow some leaf growth through one season. Initially, the two leaves arise curled around each other with a green bract appearing in the center between the leaves. As the leaves mature, they become broadly elliptic in shape with a single deep indentation for the length of the leaf. There are four leaves, two plants, in this photo. There are more vein impressions now showing along the leaf's length. The two basal leaves flatten out and hug the ground. The leaves remain glossy or lustrous through the summer months. Leaves develop darker splotches as they begin to die. You can just barely find the leaves in the fall, only if you know where to look, since they are nearly dead and becoming covered with more tree leaf litter. Returning to a younger showy orchis leaf, here we can see the lighter shade of green on the underside. The veins are parallel through the length of the leaf. The flowers begin developing in the center of the plant. One week later, they are swelling and showing some white. The white will become the pink or lavender sepals and petals. The green covering of each flower bud is a bract. Now we can better distinguish the bracts from the flowers. Notice the larger bract lying just above the basal leaves. The showy orchis flowers are shifting from white to pink. Each flower has a green bract which will grow larger as the central stalk grows upward with the flowers. In this photo, we can see a portion of the white spur which emerges from the rear of the flower. The white spurs are peeking from behind the flower's bracts. While the flowers mature, the central stalk elongates. The showy orchis flower shape becomes more obvious. The pink portions we see here include the sepals and petals which become the flower's helmet or hood. Here are three fully blooming showy orchis flowers. The flower consists of the pink or light purple helmet with a flaring nearly white petal at the bottom. Three sepals and two petals overlap their edges to form the hood of the flower. Flowers bloom from the bottom of the raceme toward the tip. A view of several showy orchis plants from above. Two of the plants are old enough to bloom this year. Another view from above. The strong stem has distinct edges rather than being a smooth round shape. Again, the flowers emerge from bract axils. One bract for each flower. With this closer view, we can begin to see an opening in the flower. This leads to the nectar available in the long spur. Let's study the flower in more detail. With a side view, we can see the hood, the petal lip, and two other very important structures. What looks like a twisty green stem attaching the flower to the central stalk is actually the flower's ovary coming from the bract's axle. Secondly, the white spur extends from the lower rear portion of the flower. Now let's move around to the front of the flower. Check out the flower's lip with its ruffled edges. Although field guides refer to the lip as white, Sometimes it's tinged with color. Inside the flower, we can find two openings. The one in front leads down the deep spur to the nectar for the flower's insect pollinators. The rear opening leads to the flower's ovary, the twisty green portion below the colorful petals and sepals. When we tip the flower back, 
we see reproductive parts. Since this is an orchid, the stamens, style, and stigma are fused together and are referred to as the orchid's column. This particular showy orchis flower has one pollinium remaining. The pollinium is the green-tinged organ which attaches to the insect pollinator. The pollinator seeks nectar in the front opening of the flower's throat to the nectar spur. While maneuvering to reach deep into the spur, the insect receives one or two of the pollinia, which have sticky attachment points. While the pollinator wiggles around seeking nectar from a different flower, some of the pollen from the pollinium is caught by the two white knobs at the base of the sticky stigma, an area called the rostellum cup, and the pollen is transferred to the ovary. This very close view shows a single pollinium, the front opening to the spur, the back opening to the ovary, and the sticky stigma, ready to receive pollen. Flower petals look almost translucent when they become wet from rain. After fertilization, the flower sepals and petals die. They become spotted with brown, shrivel, dry up, or just generally hang around as a mass of slimy brown matter. Meanwhile, the green ovaries enclose the developing seeds. Those same ovaries turn brown and look like mature seed capsules. As fall moves into winter, the seed capsules dry out too and crack open to release seeds. You can find the dried flower stalks with their seed capsules the following spring. Let's take one of those stalks and see if any seeds remain in the capsules. There are remnants of dried bracts and flowers on this stalk. Breaking open a seed capsule, the teeny tiny seeds fall out. Some of the seeds remain attached in a fuzzy line along the seed capsule's wall. You can see how very small these seeds are. They look like hundreds of bits of dust. Actually, a single capsule will have thousands of these seeds. Now that we know where to look for the showy orchis, we'll hunt for them again the next spring. By carefully pulling back the dead leaves, we can see bits of green shoots appearing from the soil. Five days later, the shoots are becoming larger and more easily noticeable. After an unexpected bitterly cold night, the tip of the largest plant shows some damage. One week later, the plants are developing flower buds. The dried flower stalk from last season still waves in the breezes, dispersing more seeds. This second group of nearby showy orchids have flower buds. In another nine days, those flower buds are expanding upwards with their bracts. Nearby, the first group of plants displays two beautiful showy orchis blooms. Kneel down and breathe deeply of the intricate fragrance. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Galliaris spectabilis, also known as showy orchis. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of showy orchis, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.